So, back for part four. Now we have Tango here. He is our new dog, and his name is Tango. Um, he is uh, half husky, half golden retriever. I am surprised he looks like that, aren't you? He's half husky, half golden retriever. That's not what you would expect to see. Uh, that's the same as sauerkrauts. It's also the same for marshmallow. The same rule also applies for coconut, aka princess, which I think I'm going to change your name to princess. Or Mrs. Trixie here, who I believe I am going to be getting rid of now because I'm not really much of digging Trixie there. Marshmallow is a definite yes. Tango, maybe. Um, yeah, no, Tango, no. Tango, not really. I don't really like Tango. Or sauerkrauts. I don't like sauerkrauts either. So that leaves me with Marshmallow and Coconut, which I'm fixing to name. Change her name to Princess. I don't even know why I named her Coconut in the first place. I was kind of trying to name her Princess. If you're wondering what grade I am and how old I am because of my video camera's squeaky voice, it's because of the camera that makes my voice sound like this. Uh, I'm actually in fifth grade and I'm uh, 11 years old, so. Oh, it's so cute. Not. None of these puppies are cute. Not, not. Actually, that one's actually kind of cute. He's so cute. That's actually the cutest puppy yet, besides Princess. It's gonna be a little girl. Oh, see how she looks. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. O M G. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is a definite yes, but we're keeping it a puppy. Well, yeah, it's going to be my fat little chubby fat little puppy. And what's her name? Otto? I don't like Otto. Name should be Lady. Mini Boss. Sassy Annie Rosemary Jezebel. That's the perfect name. Jezebel is such a perfect name for a sweet little dog like that. Oh, and she's loyal too. That is so cute. I like playing with genetics when it comes to making new dogs because, oh man, I meant to press save change on that dog back there. Oh my gosh, you just missed out on a cute dog. I like it when they put texture into the fur. Like on that one that I accidentally pressed the wrong button, the very first one, that's putting texture into the fur. If you're wondering how I'm keeping the camera like this, I have this thing.